The Military Order of the Loyal Legion of the United States, or simply as the Loyal Legion is a United States Patriotic Order, organized April 15, 1865, by officers of the Army, Navy, or Marine Corps of the United States who had aided in maintaining the honor, integrity, and supremacy of the national movement during the American Civil War. They stated as their purpose the cherishing of the memories and associations of the war waged in defense of the unity and indivisibility of the Republic, the strengthening of the ties of fraternal fellowship and sympathy formed by companionship in arms, the relief of the widows and children of dead companions of the order, and the advancement of the general welfare of the soldiers and sailors of the United States. The modern organization is composed of descendants of these officers, and others who share the ideals of the order, who collectively are considered companions. Origins Following the assassination of President Abraham Lincoln on April 14, 1865, rumors spread that the act had been part of a wider conspiracy to overthrow the legally constituted government of the United States by assassinating its chief men. Many people at first gave credence to these rumors including three of the officers assigned to the honor guard for Lincoln's body as it was transported to Springfield, Illinois, for burial. These three men, Brevet L.T. Carl, Samuel Brown Wiley Mitchell, L.T. Carl, Thomas L. Woods L., and Captain Peter Dirk Heiser, are considered the founders of the order. To demonstrate their loyalty, they decided to form a legion modeled on the Revolutionary War Society of the Cincinnati. The Loyal Legion was organized largely during the same meetings that planned Lincoln's funeral, culminating in a meeting on May 31, 1865, in Independence Hall in Philadelphia, at which the name was chosen. Originally, the order was composed of three classes of members. Officers who had fought in the Army, Navy, or Marine Corps of the United States in the suppression of the rebellion, or enlisted men who had so served and were subsequently commissioned in the regular forces of the United States, constituted the original companions of the first class, the eldest direct male lineal descendants of deceased original companions or deceased. Eligible officers could be admitted as hereditary companions of the first class. Companions of the second class were the eldest direct male lineal descendants of living original companions or of living individuals who were eligible for membership in the first class. The third class comprised distinguished civilians who had rendered faithful and conspicuous service to the Union during the Civil War. By the law of the order, no new elections to this class were made after 1890. The Loyal Legion grew rapidly in the late 19th century and had companions in every northern state, and also in many of the states that had once formed the Confederacy. The Commander-in-Chief was established on October 21, 1885 with authority over the 14 state commanderies then in existence. Previously, the Pennsylvania Commandery functioned as the first among equals of the commanderies as it was both the oldest and largest. At its height at the very end of the 19th century, the order had more than 8,000 Civil War veterans as active members, including nearly all notable general and flag officers and several presidents, Ulysses S. Grant, William T. Sherman, Philip H. Sheridan, George B. McClellan, Rutherford B. Hayes, Chester A. Arthur, Benjamin Harrison, and William McKinley. The Order's fame was great enough to inspire John Philip Sousa to compose the Loyal Legion March in its honor in 1890. Today, the Order serves as a hereditary society rather than as a functioning military order. Among other activities, companions organize and participate in commemorative events, provide awards to deserving ROTC cadets, and assist with preservation efforts. 
Of special note is that, each year, the Loyal Legion commemorates President Lincoln's birthday with a wreath-laying ceremony at the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. In 2009, the MOLLUS helps coordinate and extend a tribute with the help of the Abraham Lincoln Bicentennial Commission to celebrate the 200th anniversary of Lincoln's birthday. There are now three basic categories of membership, hereditary, associate, and honorary. Just as many original companions of the order were also members of the Grand Army of the Republic, many current companions of the order are also members of the Sons of Union Veterans of the Civil War, the legal heir to the GAR. Organizationally, the Loyal Legion is composed of a national commandery in chief and individual state commanderies. There are currently 20 state commanderies. States without their own commandery are placed under the jurisdiction of an existing commandery. Current national officers include Commander-in-Chief James Allen Simmons of Texas, Senior Vice Commander-in-Chief Eric Armando Rojo of the District of Columbia, and Junior Vice Commander-in-Chief Joseph D. Coleman of Pennsylvania. Recent past commanders-in-chief include Waldron Kintzing, Kinney, Post of New York, Jeffrey Christian Burden of Virginia, and Keith Graham Harrison of Michigan. A membership medal is given to an original companion. The basic design of the medal remains unchanged. A membership medal worn by Brevet Carl Perra V. Fox of the 1st Michigan Engineers. His son later wore this medal as a descendant member. Descendant members wore a ribbon with a blue stripe in the center until well into the 20th century, when all members resumed using the red center ribbon. MOLLUS Commanders-in-Chief Major General George Cadwallader, 1st MOLLUS Commander-in-Chief, 1865-1879, Major General Winfield Scott Hancock, 1879-1886, General Philip H. Sheridan 1886-1888, Major General Rutherford B. Hayes 1888-1893, Rear Admiral John J. Army 1893, Brigadier General Lucius Fairchild 1893-1895, Major General John Gibbon 1895-1896, Rear Admiral Bancroft Gerardi 1896-1899, Lieutenant General John M. Schofield 1899-1903, Major General David McMurtry Gregg 1903-1905, Major General John R. Brook 1905-1907, Major General Granville M. Dodge 1907-1909, Lieutenant General John C. Bates 1909-1911, Rear Admiral George W. Melville 1911-1912, Lieutenant General Arthur McCarthy 1912, Colonel Arnold A. Rand 1912-1913, Brevet Brigadier General Thomas Hamlin Hubbard 1913-1915, Rear Admiral Lewis Kempf 1915, Lieutenant General Samuel B. M. Young 1915-1919, Lieutenant General Nelson A. Miles 1919-1925, Rear Admiral Colonel F. Harrington 1925-1927, Master Robert M. Thompson, USN 1927-1930, Brigadier General Samuel W. Fountain 1930, Brevet Major George Mason 1930-1931, Captain William P. Wright Bio 1931-1933, Colonel Hugh Means 1933-1935, Colonel William Ennis Forbes 1935-1940, Major General Malvern Hill Barnum 1941-1941, Mr. James Verner, Jr., 1941-1947, Rear Admiral Reginald R. 
Belknap, USN 1947-1951, Mr. Donald H. Whitmore 1951-1953, Commander William C. Duval, USNR 1953-1957, Major General Ulysses S. Grant 3 1957-1961, Lieutenant Colonel Donald M. Liddell, Jr., USAR 1961-1962, Lieutenant Colonel H. Dustin Sailor II, USAR 1962-1964, Major General Clayton B. Vogel, USMC 1964, Colonel Walter E. Hopper, USAR 1964-1967, Lieutenant Colonel Lenahan O'Connell, USAR 1967-1971. Colonel Brooke M. Lessig USAR 1971-1973, Lowell V. Hammer 1989-1991, Colonel Scott W. Stuckey, USAFR 1993-1995, Gordon R. Berry II 2001-2003, Keith Harrison 2009-2011.